This painting is called Even If I Crawl. The title is a reiteration from another creation of mine I did in October 2020. Sort of a song. It reads more as a poem without context. Perhaps it's better as a poem. Incidentally, I referenced the project it belonged to in my previous video. If you like this painting, consider subscribing or liking, leaving a comment, something like that. I would really appreciate it. I've been at 21 for subscribers for as long as I've been posting time lapses, I feel like. So consider being subscriber 22 or 23. I was drawn to this concept sketch I made just yesterday as of the time of this video being filmed. It was layered. It was, it was very layered in the symbolism and the meaning. There's a multitude to unpack. For some reason, I attempted to do the monochrome painting sort of challenge in the beginning, which almost completely ruined it. I should have used warm colors in the underpainting, because I, I don't know if that like conveys life. Like, the underpainting of a one of the previous ones I had done, it almost seemed backlit when I went over it with the darker colors, and I really, I really love that. Um, but I made a similar mistake in my previous video and painting with Alive in the Fall. Consider checking it out if you like torture. But I, I was able to save Alive in the Fall. This one, I just feel like it is a train wreck. My blood sugar was in a weird place, so my heart was racing for the first hour or so I worked on it. I had just eaten, sort of, kind of, maybe like eaten 30 minutes ago, and that's when it tends to spike or like plummet. And then after that, my head started to hurt, possibly because of my blood sugar. It still kind of hurts, actually. My neighbor was working on a car. I don't know if he's like a mechanic or like whatever, but he's always working on cars, and it's just super, super irritating. <laughs> so there was frantic bangs, and then the dog started barking and then my sister was stomping around the house with boxes and then stomping around without boxes and then she was slamming crap and and she was talking really loud to the dogs and my mom was talking really loud to the dogs and my mom wanted to run the vacuum. It's normally much quieter since I paint in the morning but I guess it's because it's the weekend that everything is, you know, people are peopling and it, I don't, I don't care for it. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, <laughs> but all that really wrecked the mood I had in mind for this painting. And I've been thinking about it since, like, basically the conception. That's, like, really where paintings start for me. Like, once I have the idea, it, it's a thing. It's growing. It's alive. Even the songs I associated with it didn't move me like they should have. So, I don't think I did the concept justice. It's upsetting. I, I But I, I have to be honest. I want to like it, but it's very much tainted. I feel bad about it, but, every, but everything about it, like, in, in retrospect, it's still very much my style. But it's just, I'm just so frustrated. The concept had warmth. Like, mentally, I, there was a lot of warmth to it. But I was drawn to the blue from the start. I, I thought, even before I'd started painting, when I sketched out the concept, like, transferred it from the sketchbook to the canvas, I thought River by, I think, Emily Sande. I don't know for sure how you say her last name. Which, it if it, it's one of the ones from my playlist. I was working on this. I alternated between two. Daniel's Rebirth x Sharon and Rasalka. They're, they're, public, uh, they're public playlists that I have made on Spotify. So you can search them if you want. Both have wa a very watery theme. I actually listened to Daniel's Rebirth x Sharon when I was working on, I don't know if it was the painting before this one or the one before it, like two paintings ago maybe. It's one of my favorite playlists, I think. Uh, Daniel's Rebirth x Sharon is sort of a tribute or inspired by Anne Rice's character Daniel in the Vampire Chronicles. 
his story begins with the interview in the book. Anyway, yeah, I don't know his the show. I don't I don't like it. <laughs> then later he sort of befriends Armand slash Amadio slash Andre. If you know, you know. It was initially the playlist. It was initially just titled Sharon, like the Greek mythological fairy men in hell. I'd like to think the playlist embodies the mood of Gustave Doré's. I'm, I'm, I don't know how to say the name. Oh, I can read, but and then like pronunciation and like I feel like it totally becomes like a spelling thing. Like I need the the language of origin. <laughs> but Gustave Doré's Sharon, which is you know the fairy men, and it's just like oh no wonder that mood that, that drawing that illustration. It really, it's really very real. It's very moving to me. You know, but I have a fear of the ocean, so I'm just like, oh yeah, hell's probably rough water. But <laughs> with Rizalka as well, it's another like watery mythological being akin to a siren, but not a sulky. They, from what I understand, are deceased spirits who died by drowning and now haunt by enticing men to their deaths because they're most often women. Women are like children, but I think it's mostly women. So they are mirage-like, like sirens. Although I think my Rasulka playlist has like a sadder note because I empathize with the dead trapped on Earth. How could you not, you know? So in no particular order, the nine remaining songs I sort of associate with this, I guess it's a playlist, but I guess I think I think they're also just like the colors of them and the sounds that I associate, the visualization of them. I don't know. I I don't know if I have mentioned it but part of this is like I do have what it, synesthesia I associate sounds with colors lost for Dermot Kennedy warrior bloom of faith better love by Hozier which I realized I think in my previous view I'd said his name wrong I'm sorry but it's just like I thought he was Irish but then I googled it and I think his last name is hyphenated so I was like oh I guess that's fine but it, it doesn't add up to me again <laughs> my love my kind of love Emily Sanday which again I don't know how to say her name I'm sorry um, The Bomb by Florence and the Machine. I could never get tired of that song. Uh, Happy by Marina, which is actually a sad song. Water Me by FKA Twigs. Perhaps for a dose of dark irony. Leave My Body, Florence and the Machine. And then the tenth and vinyl song, Paper Bag by Fiona Apple. Because, yes, always, always, that song is very much food. Maybe a theme song, even. <laughs> so, if you take anything away from this video, it is art. Truly art. Um, if you don't like the painting, maybe give the playlist a listen. So you can really maybe come back with a fresh perspective.